Alright guys, for all intents and purposes, since there are no good videos of this on YouTube, I've looked. There's only the Chinese video, which uh, is kind of hard to follow. But we're looking at the little voltage sensor that's upside down <coughs> for the Arduino. I'm using a Nano, one of my new Nanos. And, uh, yeah. So we'll start at this end here. In with the terminal lugs, we have our positive and negative, VCC and negative end. Those are going off to a pair of 6 volt batteries. There's all the wiring going off of that. Um, on the business end, this has the onboard resistor, current limiters, droppers, all that on it. It's got negative, positive, 5 volts. This uses a 5 volt bus off the Arduino. And it's got a signal lead right here. Now those will connect. You will connect your negative to the ground pin on your Arduino. Your positive to a 5 volt rail. And your signal to a analog 1. And that's the basic connections. And then I'll jump cut here. And we'll go to the code. If I can get it to show up on the screen. And you'll see it going so stay tuned okay guys back to the uh the arduino code um what i have i'm, I'm trying to work this out Hold on well, you could probably see it uh is there a way to Inner window, here we go. Well, it didn't make it where I could make it any bigger, but anyway. <laughs> anyway, here's the code. Um, you value one, value two, your setup. Serial begin, you set your 9600 baud rate, and we start our loop. Define a float, value one, analog pin one. And I'll read one. It's reading from the pin. It's an input. And then you set a temporary value. Well, yeah, a temporary value divided by 4.092. Some math here. Value one. Initialize your temporary. Your float. That gets the float. Value two. This is the business end here. This, this is the uh, right here. I set it to 200 percent to 200. It was originally 100 from the Chinese side. I set it to 200 to read from 12 volt supply. And I set in a divider of 11.18 of that value to get an accurate reading that was accurate with my multimeter I put on the battery. So, and now that's value two, that's that. And now we're telling value two to print, serial print, right there and it's delayed by one second now we'll look at the serial print so you can see it so in 12.88 I'll disconnect battery uh, zero zero volts put it back on 12.88 I put it on one leg 6.35 that's one of the battery cells six volts uh, put it back on the series and 1288 12, yeah, about 12 volts 13 volts total and that matches my multimeter and there's two batteries in case anyone's curious are the expert power BLM FM 6 volt 4.5 amp hour 20 hour batteries um, you know, they are a cyclable battery and they're good now to note back on the code, if you're going to be using a Nokia LCD little screen like I use on my weather thing for as a battery monitor Arduino, you would omit this line and you would also omit this line and you would put in your code for, you'd define your library and put all your pin data stuff in for the LCD. 
uh, that's the code and I will link the code in the description below so you can download it hook it up and play with it these little voltage sensors are about 99 cents or so on the eBay and yeah it uh, seems to be working pretty decently now and once you work out the math um, your system now these things are only rated to 25 volts so you could put it on a 24 volt system and that's the code I have here on this line is 200 this value 2 line here is what you're going to need to modify mostly to get a proper reading and the best way you know if you're going to 24 volts from this I would say double it to probably 400 percent or something I don't know I haven't tried it yet but always take a multimeter and read your battery or your voltage for 24 volt supply first before turning it on that way you can compare and then you can adjust these values to match and get a pinpointed accurate measurement unless you just want a rough measurement you know then you could do that but I like it to be accurate down to the microvolt so <laughs> I could add in some more stuff but and I got it delayed one second you could have this this thing reading a lot faster if you really wanted it to you know you can set it down to tenth of a second and it will spit out just as fast as you need it to um, you could probably even put it lower you know like down to zero and it probably just light it up you know <laughs> let's see what it does yeah it's it's really hauling ass now and you probably can't see it because I don't have it turned on yeah it's that's at zero that's instant that that's instant yeah disconnect it uh, reconnect it we'll go to six six volts 12 volts yeah so this is the little voltage monitor the Arduino uh, there's no number on this but they're on eBay they're not bad they're not expensive um, just playing around with this stuff is interest to me enough put this back to one second and um well that was oh wait <laughs> yeah it uh right there so I stopped it and it picked up <laughs> anyway yeah I hope you enjoy ed educational stuff that I'm trying to do here and uh, maybe this will help people that can't find any more information on these things and like always guys I'll see you in the next video